assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we shall talk about uh, mathematical modeling of mechanical systems with gears gears uh, are very common in mechanical systems basically gears perform the same role in mechanical systems as a transformer in electrical system that is gears can be utilized to step up or step down torque in mechanical systems so in today's lecture we shall talk about mathematical modeling of mechanical systems with gears here a uh, figure shows a gear uh, with the uh, input gear of radius r1 and there are n1 number of teeth on this gear the output gear has radius r2 and there are n2 teeth on this gear if we apply a torque t1 in clockwise direction on this input gear there will be an angular displacement of theta 1 in this input gear that will result into rotation of the output gear and that rotation will be in counterclockwise direction so in uh, our uh, mathematical modeling uh, of mechanical systems we shall assume ideal gears ideal gears uh, in ideal gears there is no backlash what is backlash actually here we assume that as soon as this input gear starts moving there is a movement in the output gear but practically what is the situation there is a gap between the teeth of this input gear and teeth of the output gear so although at the start gear uh, input gear starts moving but uh, the output gear does not move due to the backlash so in our analysis we shall assume that there is no backlash in the gear and uh, furthermore we shall assume that uh, there is no energy consumed in the gear the first assumption uh, leads us to this statement that is the distance traveled by the uh, this arc distance traveled by the input gear is the same as the arc distance traveled by the output gear that is r1 into theta1 is equal to r2 into theta2 which can be rearranged to write in this way theta2 divided by theta1 is equal to r2 divided by r1 since number of teeth uh, is uh, on a gear is proportional to circumference uh, therefore uh, r1 can be equally replaced by n1 and r2 by n2 our second assumption that is uh, there is no energy absorbed in the gear it means that whatever energy you provide provide to the input gear that is available at the shaft of the output gear so what is the energy energy is torque into angular distance so input energy is t1 into theta1 and that is equal to t2 into theta2 that is the input energy is equal to output energy and there are no losses in the gear the expression can be simply uh, rearranged to write it in this way t2 by t1 is equal to theta1 by theta2 which by this expression uh, results into n2 divided by n1 so uh, this is uh, similar to transformer in electrical circuit as we discussed earlier uh, you have already seen uh, such expression in uh, electrical circuits that is the ratio of output current i2 uh, that is the secondary current and the primary current is equal to number of turns on the primary side divided by number of turns on the secondary side this is quite analogous to the expression for gears that is the angular displacement uh, at the output gear uh, divided by angular displacement at the input gear is equal to number of turns on the input gear divided by number of not turns teeth teeth on the input gear divided by teeth on the output gear likewise 
the second expression is uh, exactly the same as uh, that for a, a transformer ratio of secondary voltage and primary voltage is given by the turns ratio and here the ratio of the output torque and the input torque that is also given by the teeth ratio so next we talk about uh, uh, mathematical modeling of a simple mechanical system that involves gears so let's consider this system uh, <coughs> with the gear here uh, here uh, here is a gear uh, and one teeth on the input gear and and two teeth on the output gear when we apply a torque T1 on the input gear uh, it uh, produces an angular displacement theta 1 and we know that this theta 1 of the input gear that is related with the theta 2 of the output gear and uh, likewise here torque T1 is related with torque to T2 over here and uh, that is we know that the torque when we apply torque T1 over here it is transmitted here to become T1 multiplied by N2 by N1 and now here it is in a counterclockwise direction. Obtaining mathematical model for this mechanical system we have already learned we can easily obtain that is the uh, sum of impedances connected with this displacement multiplied by this displacement that is equal to sum of externally applied torques that is the impedance of this mechanical element is j s square that of this uh, element is d s uh, that of spring is k so all these impedances are connected with this angular displacement theta 2 because this end has angular displacement theta 2 and this end also has angular displacement theta 2 so sum of the impedances multiplied by the angular displacement that is equal to sum of external torques now by uh, replacing theta 2 with theta 1 uh, by, uh, we know this uh, relation uh, which relates theta 2 with theta 1 and here we have replaced theta 2 by n1 divided by n2 and into theta 1 the rest of the equation is the same as the previous equation that is we can uh, rearrange this equation to write it in this uh, form uh, here uh, the equation uh, is rewritten again uh, which describes the mathematical model for this mechanical system uh, this equation can be further rearranged to write in this way we have uh, simply multiplied this term inside the brackets to get this expression now we look at another uh, system which is completely uh, different uh, from this system uh, this system is given over here and there is no gear in this particular system uh, otherwise uh, it looks uh, the same as this system the only difference is that there is a gear system connected over here and in this system there is no gear if you obtain uh, the the parameters uh, these uh, are also different here we have j and here we have j multiplied by uh, some constant if you obtain uh, we are quite uh, familiar with uh, the mathematical modeling of uh, such systems that is the systems without gears and we if you obtain the mathematical model for this system it comes out the, to be the same that is sum of the impedances connected with this displacement multiplied by uh, the angular displacement and on the right hand side the sum of the externally tor applied torques here the impedance of this element is j multiplied by n1 by n2 square into s square here this is the impedance of this damper this is the impedance of the spring multiplied by the angular displacement that is equal to the externally applied torque so as far as a mathematical model is concerned uh, this system has the same mathematical model as this system the difference is that 
there was no mechan there wa there is no gear in this system and here we have a gear in this system obtaining mathematical model for this system is quite easy for this one it is slightly difficult so what we do is for the purpose of mathematical modeling uh, we transform this mechanical system into this one this is done by multiplying each uh, impedance by the square of this teeth ratio that is we refer all the impedances from output side of the gear to the input side of the gear and for that purpose we have to multiply each impedance by square of the teeth ratio that is if uh, we reflect impedances from one side of the gear system to another side of the gear system we have to multiply all those impedances by number of teeth of the gear on the destination shaft in this case on the input shaft divided by number of teeth uh, of the gear on the source shaft uh, whole square thus if we uh, want to obtain a mathematical model for systems with gears the procedure is simple reflect all the impedances from one side of the gear to the other side and uh, then uh, we get a system without gear for which obtaining mathematical model is easy this is quite similar to what you have already done for transformers that is if you had a transformer with uh, uh, primary winding and secondary winding to analyze such circuits you uh, were transmitting you were reflecting you were referring all the impedances from the pr secondary side of the transformer to the primary side of the transformer in doing that you were multiplying these impedances by square of the turns ratio so the procedure is the same so let's apply the concept uh, to another example here we have uh, a system uh, mechanical system with gears and we want to obtain its mathematical model uh, one approach is the same that is draw the free body diagram uh, that is slightly difficult what we will we shall do is we shall redraw the same system without gears by Ref referring all the impedances on the output shaft of the gear to the input shaft of the gear this is shown in this figure this figure is uh, uh, almost the same as this figure the only differences are firstly here there was a gear and uh, we have removed gear over here and uh, we have multiplied all the impedances uh, here by the square of the teeth ratio that is j2 is multiplied by n1 by n2 square and likewise d2 is multiplied by square of the teeth ratio k is multiplied by square of the teeth ratio as far as mathematical model is concerned uh, both the systems uh, have the same mathematical model however obtaining mathematical model for this system is quite easy the steps you remember first of all determine uh, independent linearly independent uh, angular displacements so if this end has angular displacement theta 1 uh, since this body is rigid this will also have angular displacement theta 1 again this element is rigid so this end will also have angular displacement theta 1 so there is only one linearly independent angular displacement in this particular system and all the impedances are connected with this angular displacement so mathematical model is sum of impedances uh, connected with uh, this displacement m multiplied by the Laplace transform of this displacement and on the right hand side sum of the externally applied torques so impedances connected with this displacement are j1 s square written over here j2 and 1 by n2 square multiplied by x square written over here this impedance is the impedance of this damper and impedance of this damper is written over here and th this term is the impedance of the spring 
in the next lecture we shall inshallah talk about mathematical modeling of uh, liquid level systems